Welcome to EditShare. In this video, we'll introduce Flow, EditShare's asset management and remote collaboration tool set. Hi, this is Nathan Rausch, pre-sales engineer with EditShare. We're doing a series of videos to introduce users to our Flow asset management system. Traditionally, Flow asset management was only available with EditShare storage. While there are some benefits and ease of use to having Flow with EditShare storage, Flow can be used with many types of third-party storage. In Flow Control, which is the web-based application for managing the Flow system, a user can configure third-party storage destinations to be scanned, proxied, and used by Flow. Currently, we support numerous cloud-based storage instances, as well as storage that can be shared over standard network protocols like SMB or NFS. We also offer LTO archive integration with several vendors. The idea is that Flow will become the central management portal into all of your storage destinations, tape, cloud, and on-prem storage. All of this material can be proxied and viewed remotely from anywhere in the world. In this series of videos, we'll do a video outlining each of the applications. But to give you a quick view of the tool set, we'll briefly talk about each one. Flow Control is the web-based interface for administration of Flow. Here, user accounts and permissions can be managed, third-party storage locations can be configured, and custom metadata sets can be set up. The Flow system has two user interfaces, the first of which is Airflow. Airflow is a light web-based client that gives Flow users the ability to look at proxies and work with proxies for all of their material, regardless of its location in the cloud, on LTO backup, or on-prem production storage. Working with proxy media, users can update metadata, add markers to clips, and even compose cuts-only sequences. The thick client, Flow Story, can be installed on Windows or Mac. This can also be used from anywhere in the world. Just like with Airflow, Flow Story streams the proxies that Flow generates. A user can create a project, access their storage locations via streaming proxies, and do a full NLE edit from anywhere in the world. The last component in the Flow system is Flow Automation. Flow Automation allows you to build custom automations to streamline your workflow. You can automate workflows such as transcoding, copying and moving files, QCing files, transcribing files, and even delivering them to cloud storage locations. So in this series brought to you by your local EditShare partner, we'll be doing a deep dive into each of the Flow applications. For more information or to start using Flow, please contact EditShare.